So pretty much it's like uh, anything that Ben Affleck is in. It's gonna suck, right? Hey there, my name is Jason. I'm the founder of FreeSleepAdvice.com and FreeSleepAdvice.com forward slash forum. If you have any questions, go there, ask away. Uh, if you want a little more hand-holding, I have offered up some new services at AXGSleepDiagnostics.com. You can look at your data, we can talk to you if you need a little more immediate help and a little more personalized attention. All right, on to the subject. What I want to talk about is the SoClean, uh, SoClean Mask Cleaner. Um, CPAP cleaner, CPAP accessory cleaner. I've been hearing a ton of advertisements on the radio about this. I've seen some advertisements, I believe on TV about it as well. I've had a lot of people on my forum ask me to do reviews of it, um, and as well as YouTube, people asked, hey, would you do a review of it? Absolutely, I'd love to. So I contacted the company and didn't hear anything from them. I contacted them three times, I heard nothing from them. Maybe I didn't uh, go through the right channels, though I'm, you know, you can only email and call so much to try to get to the right people, and if you can't do it, you can't do it. So um, I don't know if it was missed or not, so I just I don't want to say that they didn't respond to me. Um, I, maybe I didn't go through the right channels. I'm, I'm pretty successful, you know. <laughs> Usually it gets to the right people. Can we agree on that? So I contacted them, and I heard nothing. So I can't really do a review after touching the product and working with the product, but uh, let's call it this. Um, I'm doing like a movie review of the worst movie I've never seen, all right? So pretty much it's like uh, anything that Ben Affleck is in. It's gonna suck, right? We can agree on that. You know the movie sucks if Ben Affleck is in it. Except for Good Will Hunting, but, but his, he sucked in it. So here's what I, my thoughts on the SoClean. So one of the things that they advertise is that it's hands-free. I'm not really sure what hands-free means. Um, if that's a selling point, it's hands-free. I don't know how the mask gets in there. If it's hands-free, does it float into it? I think that's a stupid thing to stay, say, but uh, as far as claims go. So how the SoClean works, and I have a lot of people on my forum that use the SoClean and like the SoClean, and I'm referring to the SoClean 2 because apparently there was a 1. Um, they use it and they like it. Although here's, you can look at my forum and you can find it for yourself, any conversations about the SoClean. And what people say is, I love it, it uh, I like the smell of the ozone because it uses ozone to clean the mask. Um, whether it it's claims to kill bacteria, um, I have no way of proving or disproving whether it does that or not. But in general, I don't think that bacteria on the mask is really something that is going to be causing a problem unless you have some serious fungus or mold growing inside of your mask and you're breathing that in. Um, I don't really know what ozone is going to do with that. I, don't, I would suspect nothing. But people say they like the smell of the ozone and they feel like it makes their mask clean uh, and gets the hard to reach spots in the tubing. Okay, maybe. Um, here's my problem with it. And this is something that's backed up by people, again, on people on my forum who use it. And they say, you know, you still have to clean the mask, then you can put it in there. So if that's, if you have to clean the mask prior to cleaning the mask so that the mask is clean, then just get away from using the SoClean. The SoClean costs, and this is off of Amazon, costs 286 bucks. 286 bucks. Um, if this review, gets you to not spend 286 bucks, um, let's call it a finder's fee. And uh, go ahead and find that donate button on my website and bring it to me, big buddy boy. The goal of mask cleaning is to get off the oils of your skin. You use a, a cushion, it touches your face. Everyone secretes oils when they sleep. So you have oils, maybe you picked up some carpet lint, I don't know, bed fuzz. Stuff gets on your mask and that stuff, mostly the facial oils, are gonna one, degrade the silicone of your mask, and two, if it's not tacky enough like the mask cushion is supposed to be, it's gonna not allow it to seal as well because you have this grease coming through. And we can add a third thing is that can potentially cause skin irritation. So the goal 
of cleaning your mask is to get off the oils, and that's something that's a so clean too. We'll just call it the so clean. That is something that the so clean doesn't do, apparently isn't designed to do, and by the users who actually have purchased this and use it, it doesn't do, and it still needs a cleaning. So what these people have done is they either still clean it in the sink with hot soapy water, or they use uh, a, a CPAP, um, um, CPAP wipes to wipe it, wipe it down before putting it in, um, or they use my product, which is called Mass Bright, also available on Amazon, and they spray it, rinse it out, and then they stick it in there. But uh, again, that's defeating the purpose. That's 286 bucks, which is what I saw. 286 bucks is really, in my opinion, wasted. Um, I just did a review on the Siesta Med um, Hurricane CPAP Supply Dryer. And that's perfect. So you clean it, um, you clean it with one of the, the previously mentioned methods. My preference um, is hot soapy water, though that takes a little more time, or you can do a little spritz with Masprite, rinse it off, throw it in the CPAP Hurricane Dryer. And the Hurricane Dryer only costs 136, I think it was. So it's less than half. And it actually does something. It's basically a sterile dryer. And that's the main problem. Washing it's easy. It's having it dry before nighttime and not having it have time to kind of get that mildewy moldy smell. Um, so the so clean to, to get back to the, the topic at hand, the so clean um, is really, really, really stupid. And I would be happy to do another review um, if so clean were to be so kind as to send me one to review. I'm not gonna pay that kind of money to review a product, um, especially when on face value, it just uh, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. How to, unless it can get rid of the, the goop of your face. So here's another point. Something else some people have said uh, that has been recently coming out after these have been used for a long time is that the ozone has been degrading the mask and the mask cushion. They're saying it's starting to degrade like it never has before. Um, you'd have to, again, uh, look at my forum because that is where I found this kind of review. I don't remember the exact words, so I don't want to quote it, but it's been a consistent complaint that the ozone is degrading the silicone more than their other mask. Here's a counter argument, which is not really for the so clean. The counter argument to that would be what I already said, is that if it's not cleaning, getting off the face oils from your cushion, then it's your face oils that are degrading the cushion. And it's not that the so clean is degrading it, it's that the so clean is not cleaning the mask and then your face oils are degrading it. So all in all, I would save your 286 bucks. Let's say save your 250 bucks and you can send that 36 bucks to Uncle Jason. Hope you enjoyed this review. Give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your mother, tell your father. Hey, if you wanna be a member, it's free. I wanna take this time to also thank my subscribers or my, my Patreons, the people who support me off of Patreon, as well as the people who've been sending in uh, small donations. Like I said, anything helps. Uh, if this video helps you, if any of my other videos have helped you, get a better night's sleep or, or kind of get through these muddy waters of CPAP therapy, I would appreciate your support as well.